Welcome to our course, of Autodesk Revit Structural Detailing, 2015. For Steel Framing Design. We have for you a very interesting course, especially, if you work with steel frame construction and design. As you can see, here we have a very simple steel structure, that might be used for a warehouse. That consists of type W beams, but that could also use any other type of standard I beam. Good. What's interesting here, is that we have already the detail of the connections. Namely, the union between the horizontal and vertical steel, displays already a series of plates, stiffeners and bolts, that allow the safe connection between each element. And here for example, in the apex we have some stiffeners and bolts. Also in the corners, we have already the detail of the connectors, as well as the union of the plates, that is to say, the welding of the plates on the vertical elements, that help us set this structure. And also of course these elements, that might be of hollow tube, or a rigid bar from one point to another of the structure, to give it more stability. Another detail, is that we can also see already the foundations, namely, the steel anchorage welded to a plate, that at the same time, is connected by bolts to the foundations of the project. Here we can see this structure from a general view. And I think we'll both agree, that the point here is not to show a rendered image of the project, but from having obtained all these details, getting the corresponding plans, as quickly as possible, so the technicians can perform all the corresponding cutting, drilling, etc. Without making any sort of mistake. And well, constructing all these elements as fast as possible. Let's continue. Here we have some other details such as the bolts that fasten one vertical, and one horizontal element, as well as the plates, and the connectors. But we could see all these details more clearly, on this next image. However, here a very pertinent question to ask would be, why four bolts? Why not three or five? Well, we'll talk about that, a little bit later. Here we have another structure, that could be used typically for a warehouse restaurant or such other type of building. Nevertheless, this is a model that I might have received from Revit Architecture, and that now I have to decide, whether to build it in concrete, steel, or wood. Well, the great advantage that we are going to have, is that once I've decided, the template privileges of Revit structure, will allow me to obtain automatically the analytic model, without us needing to draw anything at all. And if you have worked with structural analysis software before, you'll remember that you had to go to SAP 2000 or STAD Pro, and drawing manually the analytic model. Losing hours and hours. This doesn't happen with Revit structure. And again, the other advantage that we are going to have, is that once I open this analytic model into robot, I will automatically get the dead load of the model. This, according to the different sections of the elements. I don't have to calculate one by one in order to get the dead load. Not anymore. Just by opening this model into robot, I will get the corresponding dead load. Good, let's see now this next example. This is our base model, is not the only one of course, but is the first exercise that we'll be using. And again, the advantage that we are going to have, is whether I import this model from Revit Architecture and modify the template privileges, or build it directly in Revit structure, we'll get the analytic model. And with the analytic model, I could open it in robot, and once in robot take the model and calculate it by dead load, live load, wind load, seism, and something very interesting, robot is also going to calculate the connections. For example here. I never told the software to use 4 bolts. But rather, the software recommends the usage of four bolts. Telling me at the same time, if this connection is safe, and what is the corresponding safety range. And this will happen really, for all the connections in our structure. As well as for the connections corresponding to the foundations. For example, here robot suggests the usage of four bars. All of this, being done automatically by robot. A great software for sure. So in this fashion, I could have my model, such as the one we saw first, created in Revit architecture, open it in Revit structure, apply the privileges of the structural template, and get the analytic model. 
take the analytic model to robot, and allow the software to tell me how I should detail all my connections. So here I have my connections, and another good news, if you have ever worked in AutoCAD structural detailing before, you have to draw lots of things by yourself, but in Revit structure, I just have to place the corresponding family, or group of elements. Since we have from single bolts, to plates, and many other elements, that we just have to browse through our library of objects. For instance, here we have indeed a whole set of structural objects, which goes from columns and foundations, to walls, stiffeners and more. For example, let's have a look at the elements of the foundations. If we were to modify this element, let's say the amount of bolts. I just have to select it, go to the properties, and enter the desired amount, or doing whatever modification we need. But let's go back to the recommended values. So as you can see, thanks to both Revit structure, and robot, we gain a lot of speed when designing and detailing our structures. And from these 3D elements of course, getting the corresponding plans. But here, before going deeper into that subject, I would like to make a small parenthesis, and mention, that here at the support center, we are going to really take care that you have all the templates, either the structural, the mechanical, the electrical etc. And this is because those templates, are 100% necessary for your software to work properly. That, and of course the corresponding families, or group of objects used by Revit. Group of objects, that we'll take care of configuring in both the metric, and the imperial system. So this two aspects, the configuration of the corresponding templates, and the proper installation of the families, will be of major importance, so you can work smoothly and without any obstacles with Revit structure. Finally, I would like you to remember that through this course, as in all of our courses, you'll count with the help of our experts in the support center. A group of expert and certified engineers, always eager to help you with all of your questions, learning, and projects. Autodesk Revit Structural Detailing, 2015. For Steel Framing Design. Then like all of our courses, you'll have always available on your computer, watch as many times as you want, whenever you want and with the help of our experts, through the support center. See you soon.